Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 from my home base here in Kingsland, Texas, getting ready to go traveling tomorrow. I'm going to go to uh, Colorado, Lake Colorado City State Park in Texas for a few days and then over to Capitan at my second home base in Capitan, New Mexico. And what I wanted to show you first is uh, how to turn a Casita RV. If you have a Casita or any RV and you have them on a concrete slab, particularly if they're lightweight like this one, you know, it comes with this regular little th the, the hitch stand, whatever you want to call it. But it also, mine also came with a wheel. So what you do, you put the wheel under there, it just clamps and it clips in there, it's real easy. And then you can see where I've turned it, you can see the wheel marks on the concrete probably. Uh, yeah, or the tire marks. Yeah, you just spin it around, it takes about, it's nothing to it really. If it's level, if the surface is level and smooth, nothing to it. it you couldn't turn it on gravel, uh-uh, forget that. Or if it's unlevel, forget that, it ain't gonna happen. No, but if it's level, smooth, and uncluttered, you got it made. But anyway, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've already turned around, air conditioner's out. As, as you can see, there's the concrete blocks all stacked neatly. And uh, this is the window the AC was in right there. Gone, How, what happened to it anyway? But anyway, I went ahead and put my jacks down, my stabilizer jacks. I'm charging my weed eater battery. I've got a weed eater that I'm taking that I've had for a long time in case when I get to Capitan, uh, New Mexico, my home base is all grown up in weeds. I can mow them down before I park. But anyway, this I'm loaded, guys. I'm ready to go. There's the air conditioner on the right-hand side right here. The trike is in place. There's my folding rocking chair and some other stuff, my folding tables. That's every, what you see there in the back of this truck and what's inside my RV is everything I own on planet Earth, except for Mother Earth. I own some, a couple of lots. And do I like that? Hell yes. I wouldn't trade it for anything, guys. I mean, when I go down the road, I feel like a gypsy, you know, like a gypsy going down the highway. But what I'll do this evening, I mean, right now I'm ready to go. Got it all turned around. So all I've got to do is back the truck up. And what I'll do, I'll have the ball ready to go right under the hitch. So all I've got to do is just lower it down or whatever, and then hook up the chain, the lights, and we're ready to go. Yeah, it'd take about in the morning, 10 minutes. And of course, unhook the water and electric. And I also have the uh, 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 Rise Broadband, that little cable going in the window there. That's for a radio Wi-Fi thing that you pay like 40 bucks a month, 45 bucks a month for. Yeah, I've even got my drain hose hooked up. Yeah, so all I got to do is just unplug the uh, uh, deal there. And also, uh, that's a, that yellow thing, that's a 50 amp adapter, adapter. I've got a 50 amp plug in there. And just I, the reason I had that done was because if I ever got a bigger RV, like with two ACs or whatever, which I'm not, but I went ahead and had a 50 amp plug put in there and I use a 50 amp adapter. It's got a 50 amp plug that adapts to a 30 amp, okay? Works great, works great. But anyway, what else can I show you right quick? Uh, I don't know if you can see that right in there, right from my, where my water hose is connected there. There's a stainless steel uh, pressure monitor or pressure a regulator there and if you get stainless steel I believe you're better off in my opinion which is worth absolutely nothing anyway I got to close my little screen here if I can get there I got it and I'll leave that window open yeah but we're good man we're good to go here I mean there it is old Rusty's hobo Rusty the hobo is fixing to hit the road I had my truck washed man does it look good it looks like a brand new pickup and I was thinking about getting another one of my nuts yes absolutely you can get papers on me guys yeah is that nice? I mean, that's a 2017, that's a three-year-old truck. Sheesh, looks like brand new, guys, with my Lear 180 camper top. And what else, guys, can I tell you? That's everything I own right there. Now, this mattress over here, that was a mattress I got. That's called Mattress in a Box from Walmart. Didn't work out for me, but unfortunately, there's nothing you can do with mattresses. I was going to take it to Goodwill. They don't take mattresses. Uh, I left it out by the street and said free for a couple of days, nothing. And so I thought, well, we'll just put it there and let it rot. But anyway, guys, from my home base in Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609. It's a beautiful day here in Central Texas. I mean, it's like 70 degrees right now. The wind's kind of out of the north, swirling a little bit. And uh, this is my backyard here in Central Texas. Again, I've often said it, you know, I've got more privacy here than anywhere I go camping or whatever. And that's just the way that is. Why do I go? Because I want to, and that's the end of that. And what else can I show you? I'll show you old Thorny. That's Thorny, my cactus. See all those little new little shoots out there? Uh, Thorny the cactus is going to be a giant. <laughs> okay. What used to be a little, you know, like one of those little growths was, uh, was all it started in that bucket. And now, but I've got the bottom of that bucket completely out. 
and so it can move or transplant itself into Mother Earth slowly as it grows, I'm hoping. So anyway, what else, guys? Uh, there's my rock pile. I gave one rock to Ron. Ron, I hope you're doing all right. Ron uh, came down from Massachusetts and visited me for a while on, uh, I don't know what day it was, a few days ago. He's, he bought him a brand new casita and he's headed back to Massachusetts. And I gave him a pink granite rock. <laughs> you know, we got a lot of pink granite here around the Marble Falls area of Texas. So anyway, guys, without further ado, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Well, you know why. Uh, you know, and you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but yeah, it, it, it doesn't cost you a penny. So what, what's the matter with that? So what's the matter with you? So anyway, uh, uh, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, you know, exercise, you know, do all that stuff, stand guard door your mind, particularly now and taking deep breaths. Man, I'm telling you, everybody's stressed out. I can tell by, it's just a feeling you get when you're walking around people. But yeah, that's it guys. I mean, I'm so glad that I finally got to this point a few years ago where I can put everything in my truck and, and, and when I pull out of here, if some ba vandals want to come and bang on the concrete slab here, that's okay with me. Or they want to, you know, the bucket, I'd have the water turned off. So if they jack with the water, you know, nothing really happens there. And uh, yeah, we got some security cameras and stuff. And so, yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah, that's a little set up there. There's about, I don't know, five or six cameras or some. You, you can see those, there's two, three, four, you can't see. But anyway, from Central Texas, guys, adios. At ease, carry on, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. Today is the first day of your life, first day of mine, I guarantee you, I'm going. I, I, every, every time I go on a trip, I get ready to go on a trip, I get a little, I don't know, it's like I get, uh, I don't know, the gypsy feeling or a sailor, you know, like he's boarding his ship or something. You just kind of get that adrenaline rush. I couldn't even get, I, I got up early this morning for some reason. I knew what it was and I'll probably get up earlier in the morning because I, I just get, excited and i'm glad I, i'm 74 years old i'm glad i can still do that so anyway guys adios bye bye